for today. So today we're going to be going to the gym. But before that, I'm going to go find somewhere to have some food, have some breakfast. All right. So, I'm going to find somewhere else. So it turns out the place before was closed, but I've managed to find a little market thing, so let's see what there is here. This was 40 baht. That's about $2. Not bad. I've had some food, but before I go, I just want to show you this place because it has everything. Like there's food, obviously, but there's so much more. Check it out. It was awesome, and I've got a little bit of time now before coaching. So whilst I've been in Bangkok, I've been coaching at Amantep Gymnastics Club, and it's been really, really good. The kids have been great. They're really responsive to the instructions. We've done some things which are a little bit different, um, but it's been really great to, to work with them and to see. One of the things I found interesting has been comparing coaching and gymnastics in Australia compared to in Thailand. Obviously I spent 10 years coaching back home in Melbourne and this is the first time that I've coached overseas and it's been different. The biggest difference obviously is the language they coached in Thai and I don't speak Thai so I can say a couple of words. Um, and that's about it. The language barrier was really interesting to work around and the kids were really good because they already knew a lot of what they were doing. That was a really loud motorbike. The kids were really good because they already knew a lot about what they were doing so it was just correcting shapes and shapes, the easiest way to correct is to physically do the shape and to feel it and to see it and to understand what's going on. So that was the first barrier, which wasn't too bad to work around. Beyond the obvious language barrier, comparing Australia to Thailand, the biggest difference was the fundamentals in terms of flexibility versus strength. The kids were really flexible and it was great. They could do pretty much any shape you wanted them to go into, but they didn't have a massive amount of strength, which meant holding those shapes was really difficult but they're actually really well trained and with a little bit of time they kind of got used to conditioning and hopefully they'll keep up with it and I'll hopefully come back one day and get to see what they're doing. Which brings me on to my next point, which is that I haven't done gymnastics in over a year. So how much can I do? I'm guessing not a lot.
So I have a little bit of time before a private lesson. I'm coaching a private class at three o'clock, then I've got a small break, and then I'm coaching a competition class at five o'clock for three hours. So no one's in the gym at the moment. Why not have a play? I wanna see what I can still do, if anything, because it's been a while. There's a piece of concrete. Not super safe, but lots of mats, so it should be okay. So every night after coaching, the coaches go and take me out for dinner somewhere, but tonight they've just driven me to the night market and said, try whatever you want, which is awesome, but these cakes are 25 cents. I'm gonna eat way too much and get so fat and it's gonna be amazing. I'm excited. Okay, this is going to be the world's worst descriptions because I don't actually know what I got. This was 20 baht, which is about a dollar, and it has seven things. All I know is that I think this one has fish. They also told me it wasn't very spicy. They lied. It is spicy. But it's nice. Okay. So my basic plan is get a whole bunch of the things which are like one dollar, where you can just try a whole lot of things. So, more food! have this thing. It looks awesome. And 
when they were making it, I was watching them and I was talking to them, and they said that the pancake on the first one was not beautiful. So they were going to throw it out, and then they turned to me and said, do you want it? And I was like, yeah. So I got to eat one. But this one has all the toppings. And it has banana, and Nutella, and brownies. I love it already. I don't even know how to eat it. Very difficult to eat, but delicious. Highly recommend.